Okay, I hope you're ready for your very first Astro project. We're gonna use UI Design Daily as our inspiration right here, and what we want is just to create a simple card component. Now, there are many components embedded inside here if we want. For instance, we've got this little badge component. We've also got this avatar section right here. The avatar itself could be its own component. I mean, technically, each one of these things could be. So it's kind of up to you where you wanna break this down. Typically, what I do is if I'm going to apply something like a badge elsewhere in my site, then it's worthy of its own component. If it's only going to be used here, then it's probably not worth that hassle. So I'll let you do whatever you want, but I do want to point out a couple of things. In the description, you're going to find links to three images and three people. All right, It's not the exact same people or images, but I did go ahead and use the same text right here as well, because there's also a JSON file. Now, you can do this however you want, but you should have everything you need to import that data and then create the components you need, import the pictures you want as well. Now, the way I've got it set up currently is that all of the pictures are simply at the root of the site. That means if you want to access them, you need to put them in the public directory. We've talked about that already, that Astro won't touch those. They'll simply be sitting there at the root of your site, so you could reference them each that way. Now, Astro does give you a lot of power around pictures. We'll explore that in later modules, but for now, you can just drop them in the public directory. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'm going to do this from scratch with you. So let's come over here. I'm going to do npm create Astro at latest. We'll just call this lesson nine. Now I'll use the basic minimal starter and I'll install the dependencies and new Git repository. And then just like that, I'll CD into lesson nine and then I'll go ahead and open it up in my code editor. Depending on how you have your machine set up, you may need to trust the authors. I'll go ahead and do that. Now what I wanna do is add all the images directly here in the public directory. I'm also gonna reference that data file, but I need to reference it from within Astro, which means I need to put it somewhere inside of this SRC directory. To get started with though, let's go ahead and just get rid of all this so we can start from scratch once again. We'll get around to building all that out as we need to. Now this index route will have a problem for now, so let's get rid of everything inside here and just replace it here with an HTML document. For me, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add my images in the public. I'm gonna add my data in a data folder. All right, so there are my six images and my data should be here as well. Okay, so we've got everything I need over here. Let's go ahead now and scaffold this out. Now, the way I'm thinking about this, if I jump back over here so we can see what's going on, I'm gonna have this whole thing be its own component. I'll call something like card. So let's go ahead and create that to start with. There are lots of different ways to build this project out. So just because you do it differently, doesn't mean you've done it worse than me. In fact, you may have done it better. So we'll have components over here and I'm gonna call this card.astro. Now, what I wanna do is for each item in my data file right over here, I wanna pass it to that card component. So let's come back over here, and I just want to import that up top, which means I need this front matter section. So I'm going to use import, we'll just call it data, and I'll grab it from going up, my data, and then it'll be my data.json. Now Astro should know the shape of this data, but all I want to do is pass each of these items over to my cart. So let's go ahead first of all, and we're just going to, in curly brackets, since we're doing templating, I'm going to take my data.map, and for each of these, I'm just going to call them cards, I'm gonna pass them to my card component. Now, if Astro doesn't show this, you can do control and spacebar to import that up there. That should have pulled it in right there. And I wanted to just simply close out this tag. Now, I'm not gonna have a slot. I'm actually gonna pass everything I need directly in it. So I don't need to have like a starting tag and then an ending tag because I'm only gonna pass props and do everything else inside of that. So I could just call this like data and I'll just feed this my card. So the data is the name of the prop. The card is the item I'm looping through. So I'm gonna loop through this card and pass it to my card component. Hopefully that makes sense. Now over this way, I have yet to receive that. So if I try to receive over here, nothing's gonna happen. Now to actually see it work, first of all, we need to make sure that we're running, which we're not. So NBM run dev, that should help us. And that should pull up right over here. Now I need to find a way to pull in that data. So let's do that up top here. And you might remember I can destructure that. And we just called it data. So that's what I'll call it here from Astro dot props. Now down below, just to make sure we can see something, I'm going to call this data dot, and it doesn't give me IntelliSense because I'm kind of passing this along, so I'd have to actually type that, which we're not going to worry about right now. So right now, I'm just going to call it title because I think, yeah, that was the name of the particular property. So all three of those are now being passed along. So let's come back over here. You'll notice that this is what I'm doing. I'm looping over each item in my data. That data is right here, and for each of those items, I'm passing the entire object to this component called card. Now, because I don't have a slot, I'm not like injecting it in it. I'm just gonna give it all the data and let the card do all the templating. So I've called this card on each iteration. I've given it the name of data, and then I passed it in right here. 
That means over here on the card, I need to actually reference that name data and pull it in over this way. Then I've got reference to all the items I need. Now, if we look at the actual structure of the card, I've got an image up top, then I've got the rest of this stuff down below. So why don't we mimic that same structure? So I'm gonna use the article tag since this is an individual item like this. And up top here, we're going to have an image. Then down below here, we'll have all the content. So I'm just gonna give this the class of content. Now I'm not gonna worry a ton about styling in this particular module. We'll do some basic styling, but I really wanna focus in on the actual templating out of the component. Now let's move this over so I can actually see what I have. Let's pull up the data and let's get the full screen here. So I've got the author, the title, the description, and if I remember right from our image a second ago, I've got the badge right here. So we'll call this badge. And this should be my data dot category. And this is probably better as like a paragraph tag or something like that. So let's do that. And next I've got my title. So let's just actually keep this as a paragraph tag for now because I don't know exactly where this will be in my site. I'm just going to have this be data dot title. Let's copy this down and we'll change both of these to data dot description. I think that was next. And then let's see if I can see what's going on over here. The last part is just that avatar section. Now that I think I'll extract out to its own component. That way we get the chance to pass props once more. I've just got the image on the left. And then I've got the name and the number of like how long ago it's been. Before we get around to that though, let's go ahead and make sure the image is pulled in right here. Now since I'm referencing it here, just car.jpg, it's at the root of my site and it's in my public directory, I can actually reference it the same way right here. So this would just be data.hero. And then the alt here, I probably want to have whatever the title is or some other alt description. I don't provide that here. So for now, I'll just go ahead and give it the same as the title. So we'll say data.title, and that should pull that in. So let's close this down for now, move this over, and jump over here to see what we've got. And no notice I've got a lot coming in already, right? I've got the badge, the title, the description, and the image. I guess that's backwards, right? But down below, eventually now we need to pull in the picture, the avatar of the person. Now, I did notice that I didn't actually include the data I need. So if I come back over here, there's a couple things you may want to add. This two hours ago, yesterday, and December 23rd, uh, 2019. Now, it kind of depends on how you wanted to do this. If you want to do it the JavaScript way, you can add these as JavaScript dates and then just use some kind of JavaScript methods to, to kind of populate this. We're going to keep it real simple and just leave it as strings for now. So let's go ahead and open back up the data.json, and I'll come inside here. We'll add like time or something like that. So time. For this first one, we'll say two hour ago. And then let's go ahead and copy this down. I'll do a comma, same down here. We'll say yesterday. And then one more time, December 23rd. Okay, so now we've got what we need there. So I'm gonna need the time, I'm gonna need the author name and the avatar. So let's create another component. I'll come inside here. We'll call this something like author.astro. And here structure wise, I'm gonna have an image. And then next to it, I'll have another div with the content I have. This will be a paragraph where I'll eventually put the author in here. So we'll just put that there. And then down below, I'll also put in, let's see, the time, right? Up top here, I probably want to have the image. I think we called that uh, avatar, maybe? And actually, I think this was name. All right, so before <laughs> we get ahead of ourselves, let's actually get the data in here, right? So I know I need front matter because I'm accepting props. And I can pull in all those things separately or kind of all as a group. Now, because they're each individual items, I'm probably gonna pull them in separately because that's how they come into the card component, data.author, data.whatever. So let's go ahead and come over here and I'm gonna grab the avatar, the name, and the time. These will eventually all come from astro.props once I pass those in. Once again, let's get a little bit more room. So now I actually have this author component. What I wanna do, also probably is throw the name in here, right? Because it's that person. What I want to do now is reference that in this other component. So we've actually got nested components now. Index is just passing it to the card component. The card component is rendering most of it. And then just down below here, we're going to have the avatar or the author component we pull in. So if I start to type, the Astro extension should give that to me. And now it's going to require a few things. I've got the name. This is going to be my data dot, let's just check it real fast, author dot name. I've also got my avatar. This should be avatar like this. And this will come from the author.avatar. And then finally, I've got my time. This should come from data.time. Now, as soon as I do this and hit save and jump over this way, there you go. You see all of it coming in for us automatically. So we've really already got everything we need.
right? So all we have left is just styling. Now I'm not really focusing on styling in this course, so I'll let you do that however you want. Just remember how you can scope styles or import them globally or use Tailwind, whatever you want, but now you've got the data in here. And that's really what we are focusing on. Now, if you got overwhelmed building out these components, don't worry, the next module is all about components. So I'll see you there. I hope you both really enjoyed this playlist and that it gives you a realistic view of what it's like to take my course, LearnAstro.dev. I'll remind you again that down below, you can find a link to a discount to the course. I hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.